Yo, what's good fam? Agent O here. Got another review for you guys. And today I've got the Figure Arts Falcon and Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes. Here it is. I finally got around to putting together the review for you guys on this figure. And uh, as you can see, same design as the Falcon box art. Um, you can see him through the little window. You've got the seal of approval. You've got the image of, of uh, Sebastian Stan. And on the side, you've got a picture of him standing there. On the back, you've got the same picture, and then you've got like some of the items he comes with, or the lack thereof. We'll be getting into that. Um, nothing really much here on the side, nothing much on the top. Uh, and on the bottom, he's in a little fighting stance. Overall, this is kind of lackluster. Kind of like this figure, but I digress. Let's get into the review, and I'll explain. So we've got the Winter Soldier, or the formerly known as the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. And yeah, um, first, right off the bat, which I know is going to be a subject of contention for a lot of people, is the face sculpt. It kind of looks like Sebastian Stan, and then it kind of doesn't. I personally think the skin tone kind of throws it off. I do like how the light plays off of the sculpt, though. I think the sculpt itself is nice and it, it, it kind of captured him. I think he just has one of those faces that's hard to that's hard to get right in action figure form. I mean, even Hot Toys has kind of screwed it up in a few of their iterations of, of the character. Um, they never, they haven't always gotten it 100% spot on. But I do like, uh, I mean, this hair sculpt is okay for the most part. Um, nothing really to write home about, but yeah, I really feel like I do, I do dig the uh, the printing that the that they did on his beard or his like five o'clock shadow. I think that uh, that printing process actually works for that a lot better than uh, than just painting it on. But other than that, I think all the paint apps look good um, on his head. Uh, but moving on with the rest of the body, just like with Falcon, he's got kind of a muted uh, color tone. I do like his black and gold arm. I know some people didn't like it uh, in the movies even, but I think it works and I like it. It, it kind of gives it a, uh, it's how you know this is like from Wakanda and not from, uh, you know, Stark or or Hydra or whatever. Um, I think it looks all right. And uh, I couldn't see any kind of uh, slop or any um, paint flex or anything like that on it. Um, his uh, his costume itself looks all right. I did dig it in the show, um, and I think it's represented fairly well in action figure form. Uh, the color scheme, of course, it's not super vibrant, just like with Falcon. Um, done obviously done on purpose. Uh, most everything on this guy is casted, and it's in the plastic, in the color plastic that it is, especially uh his legs like this boots are more of a grayish blue I don't know if my camera will pick up the difference between his pants his pants are just straight up like a gunmetal gray the boots are more of a bluish gray um, with uh, with some silver for the buckles and stuff but uh you know the folds on it are nice and everything um, like I said I don't really have any problem with it I mean he was wearing like a jacket with the sleeve torn off and and I think it works. It, it looks like, for the most part, what he looked like in the show. Um, as far as articulation goes, this is where we also where we run into some issues that I have with this figure. Now, for the head, you've got you can look down. Whoops! I bent his head too far. But he can't really look up too high unless you unless you move his head past the collar, the back of his head past the collar. But he doesn't look up too high. Um, so he's kind of limited in that way. He has butterfly joints in the shoulders, which, as you can see, they do come out pretty decently. So that's a plus. Um, shoulder articulation, he has nothing to block his, because, uh, you know, the sculpt isn't bulky. You can move it, you can move it up and down a bit. Um, no bicep swivel because they just don't want to break up the sculpt, I guess. I don't know, they need to stop listening to people who say they hate cuts in their action figure. I'm gonna say it again. If you don't like cuts in your action figures, 
don't buy figure arts, don't buy Marvel Legends, buy real action heroes, buy Tot Toys, buy Mezco, because they hide all that shit. They hide all the joints. So don't buy these if, if, you're, if you're that worried about cuts in your toys. But anyway, moving on, he's got double jointed elbows, so he gets about that much of a bend. Pegged wrists, peg, uh, swivel peg wrists, so you can get the full rotation and you can get some, some wrist bending. His torso, the upper torso is on a ball joint, but you don't get a lot of back and forth motion um, because this is like a kind of a harder plastic, um, the torso is. It's, so there's not going to be any give, and I've even kind of scraped, you can kind of see a little bit. You can kind of see a little bit uh, where the top of the uh, upper torso rubbed on the sculpt and and kind of and kind of scratched the uh, the surface of the um, of the lower torso from me just trying to position him and and uh, you know pose him and whatnot. So I mean, you get that much rockage left and right and that much back and forth. Not a whole lot, which sucks. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like. I don't like the way they did this. Uh, same thing with the hips. With the hips, uh, you get a bit more movement. You can go back a bit more, so it allows them to get a get a lot more. You get a lot more bang for your buck on the waist than you do on the upper torso, and he goes forward a bit because once again, this is all hard. There's no real give on this um, this hard plastic lower torso, so. You're not going to be able to get a lot of range of motion, but he does rock back and forth quite decently. Um, once again, you have the old drop down uh, hip joints. I don't know why they're still doing this when you have the fighting body and you have the Spider-Man, um, you know, uh, rotating cheeks or the swivel cheeks as I like to call them. You have that, so I don't know why they're still using this. This is... I get why they used it back in the day because at that time that was like the best um, option but now you have other options um, and so I don't know why they're still doing this but you do get a you do get a pretty full split with that so you do have a range of motion there um, thigh swivel of course is built in as you can see so you get rotation that way knee bend it's not double jointed, but it's that split. Uh, it's that split knee joint, so you still get, you still can get, you would get the same rotation that you would get out of a double joint with the split knee, but the sculpt hinders that, so you don't get as much of a bend. Um, now with the feet, whoops, you can see like it doesn't allow you much clearance because of the way they sculpted the uh, the bottom of the foot, uh, the bottom of the leg. I mean. So, you get a lot of ankle rockage, but you don't get a lot of uh, back and forth or up and down. And even the toe point isn't that great. It's okay. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's passable. I don't know. I, I feel like the range of motion on this guy could be a lot better, especially since it's like I just I just started messing around with with the Shang Chi figure, and it's leaps and bounds better than this. And it didn't cost ninety dollars like this guy did. This this figure was way overpriced, and I, don't, I think maybe because Falcon and Winter Soul and Bucky are overpriced is because I don't think they I think I think Figure Arts didn't think they were gonna make a lot of money off of this figure, and that's why it's cost that much. But anyway, uh, moving on to the accessories, you've got another head, but it's pretty much the same head sculpt. Pretty much the same head sculpt, only he's looking to his left. Um, they really need to start giving us heads with expressions because this isn't cutting it. This is uh, this is BS, and this is just once again barely minimum. Uh, he comes with, as far as hands, he comes with uh, the shield holding hands for both uh, left and right, so you can alternate. Um, nothing really to write home there because they're exactly like the hands from the Captain America figures that if you've been buying those like I have they're pretty much like those as well 
He has these relaxed pose hands. Um, one for the left and one for the right. These look decent. Paint apps are, are good, especially on the left hand, the um, vibranium bionic arm hand. Um, so those look pretty good. He has a, a pointy finger gun holding hand, but he has no gun, sadly. I don't know why they would give you this hand and then not give you any weapons to put in it because they changed the, even though these hands, these hands look exactly like uh, Falcon's hands, positioning and everything, just painted different and sculpted different. Um, the surface detail is different, but you can't use it to hold anything. I found this sniper rifle from, actually from the Marvel Legends um, Winter Soldier figure from the Winter Soldier movie and it fits it fits this gun perfectly so I'll, I've been using that to shoot some pictures with and everything um, so I have to find other guns like that that fit or maybe some maybe some third-party guns and then the last hand he comes with is this is also a gun holding hand but this is for like holding the bottom of the barrel gun of the gun like uh, if his hand, if his trigger hand is on the trigger, whoops, this hand, as I fumble around, would be holding it like about here, on here. And it does fit actually quite nicely on this gun. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what, uh, that's the hand he comes with, you know. It also comes with the shield that you've seen on most practically every other Captain America figure that uh, that has come with this um, shield. So yeah, once again, I don't know why my camera's not focusing, there we go. So yeah, this is the shield. It's exactly the same shield that you get with all the other ones. Um, and you have the shield accessories, like you have the arm, you have the part that fits on the back for the arm. For those of you who might not have seen these toys, I'll just show you, it clips in here, and then you take one of the shield holding hands on the other side and just pretend the arm is sticking through here but yeah and you just you fit you fit the arm in and you plug the you plug the hand in and there you go that's that's how that works that's how that whole thing works um now they gave us this stand i mean the stand's okay i don't know i don't once again i feel like these things are unnecessary you'll have to use like a like a uh paper clip or something to poke these uh, parts out so that you can have extra uh, posts, extra um, posts for the arms. They only give you one arm though. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great if you wanna use it for display purposes, but other than that, I think it's useless. Um, once again, there's cheaper, and in my opinion, better stands out there, like the uh, Simple Stand from Good Smile, once again. They're not paying me to plug it, but I like using these stands. Um, I bought a bunch of them, and and I think they will, and I think they work great. So for what I for what I do with my with my figures. So all in all, once again, this figure should not be ninety dollars. Like like there's they were they sold a Naruto figure recently for thirty dollars that came with more stuff than this figure came with. Um, like I said, I think in the end they didn't think this toy was going to sell, and that's why. They gave, they put such a hefty price on um, on Falcon and on Bucky. Um, which, if that's the case, sell these, to market these toys towards an American audience and not the Japanese audience. If the Japanese audience isn't that interested, um, that's the move I would make if I was them. But I don't work for a toy company, so what do I know? I just buy the toys. Um, but yeah, this. I only bought this so I could review it and so I could make these points because I think it's it's indicative of I think where Figure Arts is going with the MCU line. You're gonna get you're gonna get barely minimum with this line. You're gonna they're gonna get they're gonna cause you premium prices, and you're not gonna get a premium figure. I'm probably going to start holding out on some of these guys as they come out and wait and see if Mafex does a version of a. Uh, of these guys, uh, especially down the line, um, I'm gonna probably wait because 
uh, Mafex kills it with the accessories. Like that Thor, that Mafex Thor has tons of accessories that comes with it. Um, same thing with the Captain America that they did and the Gambit. Um, lots of accessories. Now QC is another thing that you have to worry about with Mafex. Uh, sometimes it's hit or miss, at least it has been with me. And I only own a few Mafex toys, but uh, some of the QC has been better on than others. Um, so that's another issue. I mean, at least with figure arts, you know the QC is going to be decent on them, even if they're skimping on everything else. Uh, the build quality and all that's going to be good, even though they're even though they make some weird moves with their engineering when it comes to articulation. But yeah, um, that's going to do it for this review. I wish I had more good things to say about it, but it is what it is. Um, if you don't do good work, I can't. Get, I can't give I can't say good things so do better figure arts and then I'll have good things to say uh, but anyway that's gonna do it for this review if you liked what you saw please leave a, leave a please leave a like or and hit the subscribe button hit the notification button so that you're notified that I get um, that when I get new uh, uploads and stuff on my channel once again hit the like button because it helps my ch it helps get my video out there for more people to see which would be great because I kind of want to help build a community um, you know where we can all just kind of geek out and talk about the stuff we like and uh, that's gonna pretty much do it so until the next review which will be coming up soon I'm Agent O and I'm out peace